the next question it is asked from class 8 uh, from lesson number 14 so it is uh, uh, means it, uh, they want the explanation of electrolysis electrolytic cell electroplating and electro refining and their diagrams also they want so i would like to explain these things first of all all electrolysis electrolytic cell electroplating and electro refining all of these they are connected to each other that you have to know and electrolysis is the main that means uh, that electroplating electro refining both of them are one type of electrolysis so what is electrolysis that i would like to tell you so electrolysis in the word if you break the word electro and lysis electro means this word is coming from electrons that means current and lysis lysis means breakdown separate split splitting so in this process in the process of electrolysis what is done by applying current by running current or by supply uh, allowing the current to go through one particular substance it is splitted means separated so that is electrolysis <clears throat> generally for the process of electrolysis some requirements are there first of all one container should be there okay so within the container there should be one electrolyte electrolyte means it is a substance which can carry electricity through it so one electrolyte is required then two uh, things are there uh, which, which we can say the electrodes two electrodes are required uh, these electrodes are connected to the battery so generally the electrodes are made up of metal but sometimes non-metals or the mixture of metals are also used okay so these two electrodes their names are different one is say the anode another one is the cathode that means which one is connected to the positive terminal of the battery okay that is said as the anode and which one is connected to the negative terminal of the battery that is said as the cathode so depending upon their connection these electrodes are named as anode and cathode okay so these things that means electrolytic cell electrolyte electrodes and the battery these are most important things for the process of electrolysis and this electrolysis can be done for various purposes so among them the electroplating and electro refining is there in electroplating what is done uh, one metal is there around the metal the there are some layer of some another metal is given that is called electroplating so in this process also the cathode cathode is made by the main metal above which the another metal should be layered so cathode is made by the main metal and anode it is made by the another metal from, by which we will give the layer for example let you are going to give the layer of uh, gold over let brass okay Bl brass is one alloy okay alloy of copper so around brass you want to give one layer of gold then the cathode should be made up of brass and the goals the anode should be made up of gold so when the current will pass through it that is when the uh, process electrolysis process will be started then this gold will come and uh, will deposit over the brass that means from the anode it will come and deposit over the cathode i hope you understand so that is electroplating so what i told electroplating is the process by which uh, one uh, metal can be layered with another metal for example so many examples are there just now i told you gold plated ornaments that means the layer is of, made up of gold then chromium plating is there uh, bicycle handles you have noticed it is made up of iron but over that one very shiny silver color material is used that is chromium so chromium plating is there galvanization is there that means zinc layer sometimes given so these are examples of electro plating and lastly electro refining so that means if refining is done by using the process of electrolysis then it is called electro refining okay so what is uh, 
refining refining means what you see the means uh, purification of a metal so when we get the metal on the earth crust it was completely uh, covered with some other materials sometimes it is it is uh, com in the combined form with other materials other metals maybe non metals maybe so many other materials gang particles maybe also there along with the metal so we have to make it pure that means we have to leave out all these other uh, materials which are along with the metal because we need the metal only not the other materials so the process which is used to means uh, purify the metal that is called refining that means other things which are uh, in a combined combined form with the metal so they are should be they should be left out for example you see that you need the copper so with copper some other materials also are there so by the process of electrolysis we can I mean separate the copper from the other uh, materials so that is electro refining so in this process also uh, electrolysis process is used where this anode is made up of the impure metal just now i told you about the purification of copper so at that time the uh, impure copper that means where copper is present along with the other materials that is uh, used to make the uh, anode okay and the cathode that is a pure met, a pure copper okay so when current is passed and the, and, and the you know electrolyte which is used in case of this this uh, example it is copper sulfate solution okay copper sulfate solution it is the electrolyte uh, impure copper is the anode and pure copper is the cathode <clears throat> so when current is passed at that time what happened the from the impure copper copper comes out get mixed with the electrolyte and again from the electrolyte the copper will go to the cathode and get deposited there so as a result at the end of this uh, process what you will get the impure copper it will be completely the impurities that means that those materials which are present with the copper they will gather at the bottom of the container all the copper will go and gather in the cathode so at last when the cathode you will take out then only copper is there no other materials are there so like this <clears throat> some metals can be purified this is one example i told uh, copper is one example so this process is called as the electro refining so ultimately what I told, I think you understand that electro refining, electro plating, both of them are the examples of electrolysis. Electrolysis is the main process and these are two applications, not example you can say, they are the applications of electrolysis. And one more thing is the electrolytic cell. So electrolytic cell means the, the whole arrangement where the container is there, then electrolyte is there, electrodes are there, battery is there, the whole thing together, it is said as an electrolytic cell. I hope you understood. And these two questions only today I got, these two uh, means problems, uh, the students told me, one is from seven, one is from eight, and others also may have the same problem, so you, you are also getting your answer. And for more doubts, uh, you communicate with me, uh, you use my WhatsApp number and below this video also you can give your comments, your doubts, your problems. You send me then only I can tell you the answers. So by this way um, in the evening time I will uh, now in the evening time I am making this video. So every day uh, I will try my best to clear your doubts by making like videos. Okay. Thank you and 